Well, SpaceX fans, it has finally happened. After weeks of waiting on the edge of our seats, the moment finally arrived. Yesterday, on August 27, 2019, at around 5 p.m. Boca Chica time, Star Harper completed its final hop test soaring, well, not quite soaring, but hopping to an altitude of 150 meters or approximately 500 feet. The test was flown on Raptor serial number 6. And for this test, additional heat shielding was installed to test how the material or tiles would respond to increased vibration from the vehicle. This was the longest flight of any vehicle with a full flow stage combustion engine ever. The moment was absolutely incredible and stunning to watch. Huge congratulations to the team at SpaceX, you guys continue to push the boundaries and raise the limits on what people think is possible. Water towers can fly. We couldn't have asked for better viewing conditions. The footage from SpaceX's live stream was extremely cinematic, crisp, clean, and clear. In the previous hop test, the 20 meter hop test, it was a bit difficult to see Starhopper leave the ground as the feed was almost completely blocked out by dust that was sort of kicked up by the engine. We did get some better footage though later on from that test when Elon tweeted some shots from the drone cam. But as I said before, this hop test was absolutely stunning. SpaceX's progress on Starhopper has been incredible, and in many ways it has also been incredibly unprecedented. Over the period of just 8 to 9 months, the company has diverged from conventional aerospace manufacturing techniques to rapidly prototype a vehicle with the resemblance of a water tower or R2-D2's dad, sporting a production design flight-ready full flow stage combustion engine. What's more is that SpaceX has actually gotten Starhopper to fly, well at least hover off the ground a considerable distance, 150 meters. This hop test has been long overdue. We've been waiting for this test for almost exactly a month now. On July 25, 2019, shortly after the 20-meter hop test was completed, Elon announced that a 200-meter hop test would occur in about one to two weeks from that date. SpaceX initially anticipated that Starhopper's last flight would occur sometime during early August, and dates were set repeatedly for the test, but the tests were delayed repeatedly due to the FAA needing to conduct further hazard analysis. On around August 23, 2019, the FAA finally issued a permit for Starhopper to fly to a revised altitude of 150 meters, as opposed to the initial estimated altitude of 200 meters. And on August 24, 2019, Elon confirmed a test would happen on Monday, August 26. This test, more so than any other test with Star Harper, was extremely high risk. On August 24, residents in Boca Chica Village started to receive alerts of a potential risk to health and safety. This notice required residents to be outside for the test, indicating that if there was a malfunction with SpaceX's vehicle during flight, an overpressure events could occur that could break windows. Luckily, that didn't happen on the 26th or 27th. On Monday 26, on SpaceX's first attempt at the 150 meter hop test, everything looked to be going okay. SpaceX started streaming live video at around 5 p.m. Boca Chica time. We were all expecting Starhopper to hop. The company took us right to the edge of our seats. I think it's safe to say that we were all holding our breaths in anticipation for the 150 meter hop test. And then the clock hit T minus zero. And then T plus 0.8 seconds. And nothing happened. Starhopper didn't lift off. Oh man! Can you believe it? It was right there! Elon tweeted later in that day that the reason for the scrub was a wiring or connector issue with the engine's igniters. It's worth noting here that SpaceX's Raptor engines use torch igniters, whereas Merlin uses TATB cartridges. That's triethyl aluminum and triethyl borane. TATB and liquid oxygen are a hypergolic propellant. The green flash you see just as Falcon 9 or Falcon Heavy take off from the launch pad comes from the interaction of TATB and liquid oxygen. According to Elon, in Raptor by contrast, spark plugs ignite dual blowtorches that ignite pre-burners and main chamber of the engine. So as you can probably tell, it's a little more complex than just the spontaneous combustion between TATB. It does come with trade-offs, but there are some significant advantages. For one, you wouldn't require new TATB cartridges for every launch. This is currently what is done with Falcon Heavy and Falcon 9. And while it works well with those vehicles, it wouldn't be practical for a fully reusable Starship as Starship is intended to be launched from Mars. You can't exactly run out and buy TATB cartridges on Mars, and transporting it to Mars isn't exactly feasible either, as again, the cartridges can spontaneously combust. For more on that, you can check out this article by Teslarati. I'll link it in the description below.
Thankfully, SpaceX was able to resolve the problem with the igniters as we all clearly know by now. And on August 27, 2019, at 5 p.m. Boca Chica time, Starhopper completed its final hop test. The Raptor engine just burns super clean and you really can see how controlled the hop is. The vehicle, which measures 9 meters or 30 feet in diameter and about 20 meters or 65 feet in height, was able to land with extraordinary precision. It just demonstrates how SpaceX is gradually moving towards its goal of full reusability. So what's next for Starhopper? Now that Starhopper has completed its final test, the vehicle is scheduled to be retired. According to Elon, parts of Starhopper will be used as a vertical test stand for Raptor. For some, Starhopper may have looked like just a flying water tower, but the vehicle is an absolutely essential step for SpaceX to test the performance of its Raptor engines and use lessons learned to apply to future development of Starship. Starhopper is just a precursor to the fully functional Starship. Today, to some, Starhopper may seem like a trivial vehicle, but one day we'll remember it as a critical milestone in the development of a vehicle, Starship, that will forever change the future of humanity. A stepping stone to our future on the Red Planet. For now, it's been confirmed. Water towers can fly.